हरे कृष्णा वेलकम टू अवर प्रोग्राम ऑन द नेक्टर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन टूडेज प्रोग्राम और टूडेज क्लास इज अ क्विज दिस क्विज इज बेस्ड ऑन टेक्स्ट नंबर सिक्स टू टेक्स्ट नंबर इलेवन एंड ओवरऑल इन दिस होल कोर्स दिस इज अवर लास्ट कंक्लूडिंग क्लास क्लास नंबर ट्वेंटी टू फॉर द होल नेक्टर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन कोर्स I will start with the Mangala Charan. Om Agnyana Timi Randha Se Gyan Anjana Shala Kaya Chakshurun Mili Tam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Nama Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapi Tam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Ha Kadamai Yam Dadati Swapadanti Kam Vande Ham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Un Vishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raguna Tanvitam Tam Sajivam साधवैतम सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रि वंशा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पदिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे <coughs> So today's program is a quiz on the uh, six verses of nectar of instruction from text number 6 till text number 11 and if you have seen the quiz you would have noticed that primarily the questions are from text number 6 7 and 8 and only one question for text number 9 one for 10 and one for 11 i have presented and mainly because as beginner devotees generally i would consider myself as a beginner devotee uh vaidhi bhakti who is practicing devotee without uh, a lot of spontaneous attraction toward the lord the instructions typically are from text number 1 till text number 8 and after that text number 9 text number 10 text number 11 is something mainly uh where the spontaneous devotion ragatmika bhakti that kind of uh, Uh, verses are there so that is why we are focusing more on uh, the first eight text and if you see in text number 8 also nectar of instruction shri rup goswami mentioned that this is the sum and substance of devotional life upadesh yeah? saram that is there in text number 8 so practically for uh, rup goswami the instructions are already completed text number 8 after that he builds up uh, further uh, the advanced aspects of devotional service in text number 9 10 and 11 so uh, most of the questions and the discussion is till text number 8 <clears throat> so we will start qualification to perform bhakti a person engaged in devotional service must be free from dash this is text 6 and paragraph number 2 uh, consciousness activities material motives and imperfections so would you like to respond material motives what yes sir material material motives yeah that is the correct answer <clears throat> uh so you can see that uh, uh, in devotional service uh, the only qualification needed is that the practitioner have some detachment for material motives and that is sufficient for the person to start a devotional service if you see you will find very similar uh, uh, study we are doing in nectar of devotion there also uh, we we recently studied about the qualification to perform bhakti mm -hmm. you will find that part or, or this concept in in nectar of devotion also <clears throat> so very good answer so since we are having a lot of questions today 
21 questions in all we will move a little fast <clears throat> this is easy one do you, does anyone have doubt please uh, uh, kindly uh, feel free to ask that and we can have discussions as you like okay we go to the third question entry in shuddha bhakti at what stage is shuddha bhakti performed this is text number 6 at the stage of gyan at the stage of karma at the stage of liberation and the uh, and all of the above so what is the correct answer at the stage of liberation prabhu at the stage of liberation okay so rakesh ji uh, i would also like you to explain to the group why are we discussing at what stage should the bhakti is performed in this particular text so what is this particular text text number 6 is all about what are we trying to achieve in the text number 6 <clears throat> प्रभु जी उत्तम भक्ति हम्म उत्तम भक्ति ओके और उत्तम भक्ति और उत्तम भक्ता उत्तम भक्ता परसीविंग अ प्योर डिओटी परसीविंग अ प्योर डिओटी करेक्ट सो इन द ओवरऑल फ्लो ऑफ नेक्टर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन वेयर डज दिस टेक्स्ट नंबर 6 फिट ओवरऑल व्हाटएवर ओवरऑल फ्लो इज देयर टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम टेक्स्ट 1 2 3 4 5 6 so where does this text number 6 fits what have been discussed in the previous texts where uh, where have been primarily the focus of roop goswami in previous texts on what aspect or what what particular concept uh, roop goswami is impressing upon again and again in the previous texts you mean to say shraddha or sadhu sang something like that Uh -huh, ha yeah something something like that yes so what are we trying to achieve in the previous text or which aspect has been stressed upon if you see text number 2 it says jana sangha lalyascha shadbir bhakti vinashyati atyahar prayasascha prajalpo niyamagraha jang sang jan sanghascha lalyascha shadbir bhakti vinashyati then we go to text number 3 here utsah nischaya dhairya tat tat karma pravartanat sang tyagat sato vritte shadbhir bhakti prasiddhyati text number 3 gone then comes text number 4 uh, in text number 4 dadati pratigrahanati guhyam akhyati pracchati bhungte bhojyate chaiva shadvidham priti lakshanam and then come text number 5 text number 5 <coughs> krishneti yasya giritam मनसा द्रियेत दीक्षास्ति चेत प्रणत भिष भजंत मीशम शुश्रुया भजन विज्ञम अनन्य मन्य निंदादि शून्य हृदय इप्सित संगलब्ध्या <coughs> तो यहां पर ये जो चार पांच मैंने दो तीन चार पांच जो टेक्स्ट मैंने बोले हैं इनमें कौन सा विच कॉन्सेप्ट हैव बीन एम्फिसाइज्ड वन कॉमन थीम इन ऑल ऑल ऑफ दीज टेक्स्ट what shila rup goswami is emphasizing again and again adopt things favorable to bhakti mm okay 3 4 5 6 7 says mm. about adopt things favorable to bhakti and uh, mm. text number 1 and 2 thinks about mm. uh, avoid things are unfavorable to bhakti okay Uh, uh, maybe uh, i was looking for a specific answer i mean uh, you may be correct in your response but i just want to emphasize on one thing see in all of these texts starting right away from text number 2 uh, 3 4 5 6 there is uh, one common theme which is association yeah uh, the text number 1 and 2 1 and 3 says about the shraddha or the faith so where yes. is the text number 4 to say 6 say about the sadhu sangha yeah see in text number 2 uh, jana sangascha lalyascha jana sangascha so text number 2 there is a concept of association there then in text number 3 uh, rupa goswami is talking about uh, sangatyagat 
So in text number two, Jana Sangascha again. Text number three is again repeating the Sangatyaga. He is repeating the concept. He is repeating it again. Then text number four, you see, Dadati uh, prati grhanati, guhiyam akhyati prachiti, bhongte bhojyate chayiva, shad vidam priti lakshanam. This is how to do the association with other devotees. What should we do in the association? Although the word Sangha is not come, but what do you do? What activities we do in the association? This is text number four. And in text number five, <clears throat> uh, how to associate with different kind of devotees. Uh, one who is at a, a beginning level, one who is at a medium level, one who is at an advanced level. How do we associate with different type of devotees? Then in text number six, ultimately there is one verse dedicated to text number six. Which is how to associate with the advanced devotee, a devotee which has who has advanced, uh, who is a very advanced devotee. So that has been discussed in text number six. So the point I am trying to emphasize is that in these texts, if you see the concept of association, how to associate, how to recognize different devotees, what activities to do in association, uh, which association to avoid, all that have been emphasized. So practically speaking. Shila Rupa Goswami is emphasizing again and again a lot on association. Hmm. Now, uh, that is the theme of text number six. So, what I asked from Rakesh Ji, I asked from Rakesh Prabhu that what exactly we are trying to learn in text number six. So, we are trying to learn in text number six is how to associate with an advanced devotee or how to perceive an advanced devotee. Perceive means Perceive perception is also association. How should we, uh, how our emotions should flow towards an advanced devotee? That is what we are doing. And once we understand that part, then Prabhupada is writing in paragraph number one: At what stage is should the bhakti performed? Should the bhakti is performed at what stage? And uh, Rakesh ji gave this response: At the stage of liberation. That is perfectly correct answer, no, no doubt about it. But the point is. How to connect these things, the questions and the answers, with the overarching theme of the uh, the the verse, uh, the text that we are reading. So the point here is <clears throat> that the theme of this text is how to associate with an advanced devotee. And in order to explain, uh, 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 the text itself says. The advanced devotee, if there are some defects in the body of the advanced devotee, one should not see the defects. One should overlook the defects. One should only see the spiritual advancement of the advanced devotee. Here, there is a word, very nice word in the verse, Brahma Dravatvam. Brahma Dravatvam. Brahma Dravatvam. This word is very very important in this text. Brahma means, okay. Uh, in Bhagavad Gita, we have studied this uh, word Brahm again and again. So there is a uh, uh, there is a reference to Bhagavad Gita 14.26. Prabhupada gives in the purport, Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate. Uh, Rakeshji, can you see that text? Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate in the very first paragraph. Text six, Prabhu. हाँ टेक्स्ट सिक्स में परपोर्ट में पहला ही पैराग्राफ में ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते तो ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते ये वाला रेफरेंस देने का क्या जरूरत पड़ा प्रभुपाद जी को why he is giving this reference here <coughs> प्रभुपाद is trying to elaborate on the theme of the text the theme of the text is that for pure devotee we should overlook the bodily defects like uh, even if Ganga water has some bubbles, some mud, etc., uh, it is Brahma Dravatvam. Uh, it is pure. It is not polluted. Uh, uh, Ganga, which is sometimes uh, in the rainy season, is full of bubbles. Uh, the Ganga water do not become polluted. So similarly, those who are advanced in spiritual understanding uh, are also, uh, despite having bodily defects, are not polluted. So Prabhupada is trying to establish this fact. Uh, that pure devotee having bodily defects is pure from inside, is not polluted. So in order to establish that point, he is giving this reference, Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate. 
मामचा यो व्यभिचारेण भक्ति योगेन सेवते स गुणान समति त्यतान ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते सो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन राकेश जी व्हाट इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्स एंड द एंड द थीम ऑफ दिस टेक्स्ट नंबर 6 it's a difficult Maybe. question hmm. but just want to uh, want the want the devotees to uh, think deeper into the matter uh, what are we trying to how prabhupad is building his purports that's what we need to uh, sometimes we read the purport we understand many things but we are not able to relate what is mentioned in the purport with the text yes prabhu you were saying something ब्रह्म स्टेज का मतलब क्या है व्हाट इज मीनिंग बाय ब्रह्म स्टेज हेयर ब्रह्म भूया या कल्पते व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दैट आई विल गिव यू अ हिंट लैग पाई लिबरेटेड लस्ट एंगर ग्रीड प्राइड इल्यूजन एनवी इज दिस समथिंग टू रिलेटेड विद दैट ब्रह्म भूया या कल्पते एंड लैग पाई हाउ आर दे हाउ आर दे रिलेटेड free from senses no free no free from senses cannot be uh, uh, that is not that is not correct free from free from something but what free from what what do you mean by brahma bhuya ya kalpate mam cha yo vicharena bhakti yogena sevate one who engages in my devotional service without fail without any deviation uh, स गुणान समती तेतान ही ट्रांसेंड्स द मोड्स ही ट्रांसेंड्स द मोड्स एंड कम टू द लेवल ऑफ ब्रह्मन ब्रह्म भूया ये कल्पते ही कम्स टू द लेवल ऑफ ब्रह्मन दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस सो हाउ दिस वर्स इज रिलेटेड विद द कांसेप्ट ऑफ दिस थीम कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ और कांसेप्ट ऑफ टेक्स्ट नंबर 6 हाउ इज इट कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर व्हाट शुड लाइक टू ट्राई Hmm. One should, one should not see a devotee from the materialistic vichana. Okay. Yeah, that is the theme of that is the that is the theme of the text number six. One should that not see the, the devotee. Okay. Yeah. My question is how that theme Prabhupada is elaborating in the purport. Prabhupada is giving this te- uh, Bhagavad Gita verse fourteen point two six. So why Prabhupada is giving this verse fourteen point two six and uh to in support of this particular text number 6 prabhupad yahan par 14th chapter se gita ke 26th shlok bata rahe hain aur wo keh rahe hain ke be dekho bhagavad gita mein ye likha hai aur rup goswami bhi kuch yahi sab baat bol rahe hain yahan pe to dono ka connection kya hai wo main aap se puch raha hu chale let us in in the interest of time uh, will not uh, trouble the devotees much see the point here is dear devotees in this verse what uh, lord krishna is saying in bhagavad gita that a person who does bhakti yoga he transcends the modes sattva gun rajoguna and tamoguna he transcends the modes he overcome these modes the modes are no longer uh, able to overcome this person's consciousness the person's consciousness become pure yeah, he is able to is able to kind of uh, suppress the uh, suppress the demands of the modes the modes are demanding uh, tamoguna is saying that uh, tamoguna is demanding something rajoguna is demanding something from the devotee satvaguna is demanding something but the devotee is because of the purity that he has attained by doing devotional service is able to keep these modes away and this is stage is called brahma bhuya ya kalpate this stage is called brahma stage brahma 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 stage means where there is no lust anger greed pride illusion envy it's a pure stage pure spirit that's what he's saying now how this is related with this verse this is related with this verse in as follows that here we are talking about a uttama devotee a, a advanced devotee so advanced devotee one should not look uh, the bodily defects because the devotee from inside is spiritual the spiritually very pure there are no impurities in the heart of the advanced devotee 
that is what it means as brahma dravatvam brahma dravatvam so the word brahma dravatvam that comes in text number 6 prabhupad is quoting gita's 14.26 and saying brahma bhuyaya kalpate so and then this question is there at what stage should the bhakti is performed and the answer is at the stage of liberation now shuddha bhakti means now you are studying nectar of devotion in nectar of devotion uh, already in the past we have studied there are nine stages shraddha sadhu sanga bhajan kriya anarth nivritti nishtha asakti ruchi bhav prem right right from starting from shraddha to prem <clears throat> so when the person reaches the level of bhav that is actually the stage of liberation and that is the brahma stage where anarthas are almost gone more or less gone maybe some slight impression is there but more or less all the anarthas are gone so that is the stage of liberation are you able to understand <laughs> uh, sorry i might have uh, uh, explained a lot more uh, rakesh ji does that make sense prabhu yes prabhu ji theek hai prabhu ji बहुत अच्छा कनेक्ट किया आपने जी आप अप्रिशिएट कर पा रहे हैं प्रभुपाद जी अपना परपोर्ट में जो रेफरेंस दे रहे हैं और टेक्स्ट में जो कॉन्सेप्ट बता रहे हैं रूप गोस्वामी उनका आपस में क्या कनेक्शन है है ना तो वही चीज बता रहे हैं और कर्म ज्ञान और कर्म की स्टेज से ऊपर उठ जाता है आदमी वो उसकी कवरिंग से ऊपर उठ जाता है तब जी जी वो नहीं ज्ञान और कर्म की स्टेज वो तो वो तो एक मींस है लिबरेशन स्टेज ऑफ लिबरेशन है कि जब वो अपनी सारी की सारी ये जो इम्प्योरिटीज हैं उनको छोड़ चुका है काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मत्सर्य वो उनसे प्योर हो चुका है कलमश जो है उसके चले गए हैं कलमश हिंदी का ट्रांसलेशन आप गीता का पढ़ेंगे तो उसमें कलमश बोला गया भौतिक कलमश चले गए और ये कलमश आते कहां से हैं ये कलमश आते हैं गुणों से सत्व गुण से रजोगुण से तमोगुण से इनके मिश्रण से ये कलमश हमारे भीतर उत्पन्न होते हैं उसी चीज को यहां प्रभुपा जी कह रहे हैं स गुणान समती तेतान वो गुणों को पार कर जाता है इन, इन सब गुणों को वो पार कर जाता है एंड दैट इज वॉट इस नोने तभी वो शुद्ध भक्ति कर सकता है तो ही इज एट द स्टेज ऑफ लिबरेशन ये चीज वो यहां पर प्रूव कर रहे हैं भगवदगीता का श्लोक बताने के बाद ओके जीवन प्रभु इज दैट डज दैट मेक सेंस प्रभु जी यस प्रभु जी यस प्रभु जी नाउ इट इज क्लियर दैट इज दैट ब्रह्म द्रवत्वम एंड द ब्रह्म भूया देयर इज अ क्लोज लिंक क्लोज लिंक एंड 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 दैट इज एक्चुअली द स्टेज ऑफ लिबरेशन ब्रह्म भूया एंड ब्रह्म द्रवत्व दैट इज द स्टेज ऑफ लिबरेशन आपके माइंड में क्लियर होना चाहिए ब्रह्म का मतलब ब्रह्म के कई मतलब हैं पर एक मतलब यह है कि प्योर स्टेज वेयर देयर आर नो कंटामिनेशन फ्री फ्रॉम डिजीज फ्री फ्रॉम डिजीज चलिए एट दी स्टेज ऑफ लिबरेशन आगे मटीरियल कंडीशनिंग ऑफ अ डिवोटी अ डिवोटी ऑफ कृष्णा हुज बॉडिली फीचर अपियर मटीरियल कंडीशन इज एक्चुअली सब्जेक्ट टू मटीरियल कंडीशन यस और नो दिस शुड बी इजी नाउ तो आपने बता दिया प्रभु जी पहले नो करेक्ट आंसर इज नो वेरी नाइस चलिए आगे चलते हैं मटीरियल डिफेक्ट इन अ प्योर डिवोटी वॉट शुड बी डन इफ अ प्योर डिवोटी हैज बॉडिली डिफेक्ट इट शुड बी कंट्रोल्ड इट शुड बी डिस्टिंग्विश इट शुड बी अवॉर्डेड इट शुड बी ओवर लुक्ड बताइए ये भी कवर किया आपने प्रभु जी इट शुड बी ओवर लुक्ड इट शुड बी ओवर लुक्ड इट शुड बी ओवर लुक्ड है ना तो करेक्ट सो वी आर मेनली एस एन सीकर्स हमको तो काम की बात से मतलब है कि वो व्यक्ति आध्यात्मिक रूप से अगर एडवांस्ड है इफ द पर्सन इज एडवांस्ड फ्रॉम स्पिरिचुअल परस्पेक्टिव दैट इज वेयर अवर इंटरेस्ट इज एंड दैट इज वेयर दी वी आर ट्राइंग टू एसोसिएट विद दी उत्तम भक्ता सो दैट वी कैन ऑल्सो बाय हिज एसोसिएशन वी कैन ऑल्सो गेट दैट काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट ऑफ ऑफ or motivation or inspiration that we can also advanced uh, or become advanced and our our impurities are gone away so that is the whole purpose so it should be overlooked 
<clears throat> it should be overlooked. So it is same as as when we bathe in Ganga water, we overlook in the rainy season if there are some bubbles, if there is some uh, some dirt, some mud here and there. We know Ganga is pure. Ganga is very very uh, purifying. So we still take bath in Ganga. That is what the whole connection with text number six. Title of Goswami. The Goswami title actually the monopoly of the dash. Brahmanas, pure devotees, Goswami family, all of the above. So what is the answer? Pure devotees. Pure devotees. Now can you explain Prabhu? Uh, why not Goswami family and why only pure devotees? What is actually the meaning of Goswami? Goswami, go means senses. Very Swami good. means master. Jo senses master. Ka master hai, that is Goswami. He is Goswami. Goswami. And who can be who can be a Goswami? Who can be a Goswami? The who person a... who has very good control of senses and mind. Such uh, a person. Goswami. Such a person is Goswami, and uh, from this question, what is the answer? All the above. Answer is pure devotees, Prabhuji. Pure devotees. <laughs> Who said all of the above? Sorry. Uh, maybe I would like to discuss. Vanja Mataji, did you mention all yes, of the yes. above? Yes. Okay, Mataji, all of the above cannot be the answer here hmm. because Goswami family. So. See, uh, if a person, we don't decide a spiritual advancement of a person uh, based on in which family the person has taken birth. That is not the criteria of a spiritual advancement. Say, for example, if a child is born in a family where the husband and wife both are doctors. So does that automatically mean the child is also a doctor? No. No, the the child also has to study uh, medical science, uh, go to take admission in a medical college, spend number of years, practice medicine. Then he will be known as a doctor, isn't it? Yes. Just because he's born in a family of doctors, he doesn't become a doctor. Similarly, <clears throat> a, a, a Goswami, a person who has mastered his senses, uh, the, that person cannot become, uh, if, if somebody takes birth in a family of Goswamis, doesn't necessarily make a person Goswami. He might have facility to become a Goswami. He might have that environment in the family. He might have that uh, kind of a, um, uh, inspiration in the family that I also kind of uh, uh, take to the same path as my parents have taken, my ancestors have taken. That inspiration might be there, but there is no guarantee. Uh, the person has to uh, practice uh, control of senses and all that to become a Goswami, isn't it? Yes. So the Goswami family cannot be the answer. Similarly, Brahmanas. Now, Brahmanas are, <clears throat> from the Varnashram perspective, uh, they might be doing all the duties of the Yajna, Dana, Tapa. They might be doing all the duties of Yajna, Dana, Tapa, like we have studied in our Nectar of Devotion course. Recently, we studied this point that Ajamil was born in a Brahmanical family. He was uh, doing all his austerities, uh, all Brahmanical duties he was doing. But still, uh, when he got associated with that Shudrani, with that low class lady uh, in, in, the, uh, in the forest, embracing by uh, somebody else, uh, another low class, low class person uh, engaging in that illicit affair, uh, he fall down. He could not control his senses. So Brahmanas are typically mostly identified by execution of Brahmanical duties as far as Varnashram system is concerned. He does his Yajna well, he does his Tapa well, he does his charity well. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't have lust, anger, greed, pride, illusion, envy. He's free from that. Doesn't necessarily mean that. Only a pure devotee of the Lord Shuddha Bhakta, Uttama Bhakta. Like we gave this example, Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate, Brahma Dravatvam. That pure devotee of the Lord only can become a Goswami because he has transcended the modes. Unka Sattva Gun, Rajogun, Tamogun ka koi asar unke Chetna par nahi padta hai. 
तो ये जो गोस्वामी का जो टाइटल है वो किसी शुद्ध भक्त को आसानी से दिया जा सकता है और किसी को ये टाइटल नहीं दिया जा सकता डज दैट मेक सेंस माता जी आर यू एबल टू फॉलो फॉलो माई रिस्पॉन्सुड थैंक यू माता जी थैंक यू वेरी मच या सो डोंट वरी अबाउट गुड वे या so you don't worry about wrong answers but try to clarify the doubts if you have huh? like you yes. you attempted an answer that only gave me the impression that you you probably need some understanding okay yes, good yes yes okay so thank pure you. devotees thank you mother ji <clears throat> analogy given in text number 6 you in the text 6 of nectar of instruction with what is the body of a pure devotee compared it should be an easy one water bubbles Yamuna water, Ganges water. So the correct answer Ganges. is Ganga. Ganges, Ganges. Ganges water, right? So it's a very Ganga. graphic analogy. Very graphic analogy. Yeah? It is very clear. Uh, Ganga ka pani itna pavitra hai, aur uske andar mitti aati hai, kuch idhar udhar kuda karkat barsat ke mausam mein aata hai. Lekin ham phir bhi Ganga ke pani mein naate hain. Ham dekhte nahi hain ki usme mitti hai, ki kuch aur hai, kyunki wo pavitra kaha jata hai. Usme naane se hamara jivan safal hota hai. Isiliye उत्तम भक्त के साथ भी जब हम अपना संग करते हैं तो हमारा जीवन सफल हो सकता है अगर हम केवल एक क्षण का दो क्षण का भी अगर उसके साथ संग कर लें तो वो जो संग है वो जीवन भर के लिए हमारे लिए प्रेरणा का स्रोत बन सकता है अगर आप प्रभुपाद जी के जितने भी शिष्य हैं उनका हु एवर डिसाइपल्स प्रभुपाद हैड दीज डिसाइपल्स मे हैव एसोसिएटेड विद प्रभुपाद मे बी फॉर अ डे मे बी फॉर few hours uh, maybe only exchange a letter with prabhupad but that that particular moment when they had that in, uh, association of prabhupad only maybe for 5 minutes only maybe through a letter or that kind of association that that devotee would remember life long or oh, prabhupad said that to me life long they would remember that is the potency of association of a uttama bhakta of a pure devotee simply the tone the voice the demeanor the mood uh, the the compassion of the pure devotee is is coming out from his body is coming out from his consciousness and that touches the other devotee who may not be at the level of uttama bhakti and and that elevates the consciousness of the uh, devotee of a of a uh, neophyte devotee <clears throat> so that is why Shila Rup Goswami is emphasizing a lot that here in text number six we are talking about association with a pure devotee. So it is very very important, very very uh, precious. So we should understand how do we associate with a pure devotee. <clears throat> Basis of advancement. Next one. How is one superior or inferior in Krishna consciousness? Uh, कोई high class devotee है या कोई low class devotee है? उसका पैमाना क्या है उसका क्राइटेरिया क्या है अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस स्पिरिचुअल डेवलपमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस सिंप्लिसिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस केयरफुलनेस अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस नॉलेज सो व्हाट इज द आंसर करेक्ट आंसर आइटम ए इज द करेक्ट आइटम ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस स्पिरिचुअल डेवलपमेंट वेरी नाइस सो सिमिलरली इट इज वेरी वेरी सिमिलर हाउ डू यू नो हु इज अ गुड मैथमेटिशियन Uh, a person who has studied mathematics for number of years uh, who has contributed to the knowledge of mathematics in a very nice way uh, in a very meaningful way who has advanced the discipline of mathematics uh, in a in a very significant way that person is considered to be a, a very high level mathematician a person who has only studied high school mathematics uh, also is mathematician but he is not very advanced mathematician uh, so uh, we judge mathematician uh, advancement by the uh, amount or the by the quality of contribution he has made to the discipline of mathematics similarly in spiritual circles also uh, a person who has made a wonderful spiritual advancement has tremendous control of his senses uh, he has very deep knowledge of the scriptures he can convince the others with his scriptures that is person is considered superior or topmost in krishna consciousness so very good answer according to one's spiritual development 
go to the next one criticism of a pure devotee <clears throat> what are the effects on a person who criticizes or is jealous of a pure devotee of krishna yeah now comes uh, uh, a point where we need to be careful what we should not do when we are associating with a pure devotee it obstructs his krishna consciousness it's dangerous for his krishna consciousness he can't derive any spiritual benefit all of the above so what is the answer all of the above yes very nice <clears throat> so the answer is all of the above now uh, if i remember in the class we discussed that uh, i think several hundred years ago maybe in the uh, 1400 year 1400 uh, ad or 1500 ad when the bhakti movement was there bhakti movement was at its peak we noticed that there were many many devotees who were not coming from a very high class elite brahmanical family but they were pure at heart uh, because of their devotional bhakti because of their devotion because of their pure bhakti uttama bhakti they were very very pure at heart <clears throat> but many of them came from the lower uh lower rungs of the society so what happened typically you would see many movies also if you go back see mirabai or see sant gyaneshwar or see uh, uh tukaram all these movies if you see found on the internet you will see one common theme there was a class who would criticize these pure devotees and every time when you see that movie Uh, the devote the those high class brahmanical or maybe aristocratic uh, class of people who were priest to the kings and so on because of their jealousy they would criticize their devotees ultimately their whole uh, spiritual advancement was stopped they had to suffer a lot and so on so a similar theme is there what effect on a person uh, who criticizes or is jealous of a pure devotee of krishna see if you come in contact with a pure devotee of a krishna pure devotee of krishna you cannot think of jealousy at all because they are so nice they are so pure uh, and when we associate with them they they make you feel so uh, so nice so uh, happy uh, because of their behavior because of their words because of their dealings uh, you you are bound to get attracted towards their personality they have such an attractive personality they have so much attraction in within them because of their purity you are immediately drawn towards them you immediately feel surrendering to their lotus feet that's how you you feel so but despite of that kind of a charisma that kind of an attraction when people uh, who criticize such people out of jealousy out of some ill uh, ill ill motivation then certainly it will obstruct their bhakti it will obstruct uh, they will not derive any benefit and and their bhakti will be in danger so that is the whole theme of this uh, text number 9 <clears throat> etiquettes of a disciple the spiritual master must not be subjected to the dash of a disciple advice nature vision none of these <clears throat> Advice. 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 advice 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 of a disciple see we uh, we should not advise uh, uttama bhakta see giving advice to uttama bhakta is something like that i am the teacher and you are my student and it, it is in that mood so you should do this sir you should not be doing like this you should actually be doing like this so that is something not a good etiquette actually it is a bad etiquette so when we go to a uttama bhakta when we go to an advanced sadhu we humbly simply serve them we hear from them uh, uh, like that and and if if there are some some uh, bodily defects some maybe other kind of maybe small mistakes here and there uh, like for example we discuss this in the class that uh, prabhupad when he would uh, <clears throat> uh, when he would uh, uh, do his translations and he will give his translations to uh, to the editors for for the, for them to uh, publish that translation so sometimes he would make some 
a uh, grammatical mistake maybe the english could be presented in a much more nicer way and so on so the devotees would think uh, the disciples of prabhupad would think oh, this has been written by a pure devotee should i uh, should i correct this should i edit this or should i write it as it is if i if i correct this maybe uh, maybe prabhupad that would be a big offense but prabhupad in that case he would advise to his devotees that use your intelligence uh this uh, uh english grammar is not a spiritual topic english grammar is a material topic and you should not be coming to me for learning english grammar i am here to teach you devotional service to the lord and in the arena of devotional service to the lord i am your spiritual master i am not i am not your spiritual master in the arena of english grammar so if you are thinking if you are uh, english uh if you are a very learned english scholar and if you see there is some defect in my english writing then please by all means correct and uh, if you correct it then uh, certainly it will make a good impression to the people who are reading my books so you are doing a good job so we need to understand what exactly means advice here advice means in the matter of spiritual uh, devotional service uh, we should not be advising our uh, uttama bhaktas uh, advanced devotees so i hope that makes it uh, further clear uh, on on what on what grounds we advise our uh, uttama bhaktas so the correct answer is advise <clears throat> we'll move forward another question on analogy text num- uh, question 11 in text number 7 of nectar of instruction what is the nations compared to okay now we were we are moving to the next next verse text number 7 so the uh, text number 7 is about text number 7 is about okay syat <clears throat> krishna naam charitadi sitapya vidya pitto pitta pitto patapt rasanasya na rochikanu kintu adaran nu adinam khalu chaiva jushta swadvi kramad bhavati tad moola hantri uh, very nice uh, so okay before we before we move to this text number 7 again the same question what is the significance of text number 7 now so in the previous uh, in the previous text uh, what we were doing we were doing sadhu sangha how to associate with uttama bhakta so this particular text text number 7 is about what bhajan kriya bhajan kriya very nice prabhu very nice it is about what do we do in sadhu sangha in association what activities we do and one of the most important activity we do in bhajan uh, in in sadhu sangha is chanting of the holy names so uh, in this particular number text shila rup goswami is advising us how do we how do we do our bhajan kriya how do we do our chanting that's what he is advising so in text number 7 what is nations compared to <clears throat> so nations means what in hindi in sanskrit what does nations mean avidya avidya very nice avidya i hope others are also following rakesh ji yes prabhu ji ignorance okay. mm-hmm. ignorance yes uh, in text number 7 what is nations compared to tongue jaundice root bitter taste Jaundice, so this is correct jaundice. answer jaundice probably jaundice, jaundice jaundice okay so this is an analogy given in the text number 7 so manish ji can you elaborate what is this analogy can yeah this is the talk yeah this talks of all this modern world where all people are diseased or you can say the tongue of the people afflicted by jaundice or avidya cannot hmm. taste anything sweet yeah so they hmm. have forgotten all the past times or they have forgotten the lord and therefore they cannot uh, uh, taste the sweetness of the past times of the lord or they cannot uh, taste all the spiritual uh, movements uh, that is why it mm. is uh, said that mm. it is a jaundice for these people who can't even uh, jaundice of avidya ignorance jaundice of avidya okay i think it was a good attempt but uh, i think there is a scope of further refinement in what just manish prabhu has mentioned can someone yes you want to add prabhu yeah 
So this uh, can you hear me, uh, Prabhu ji? Yes. yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu ji, I can hear. Yeah. So when our body is affected by jaundice, we lose the taste of uh, sweet things. We don't like mm. to eat uh, sweet things. So, and mm. uh, but at the same time, the medicine for jaundice is sugar cane juice or is a sweet thing only. So similarly, right. Right. when we are affected by avidya or nesains, we mm. forget the sweet name of the Lord. We forget mm. the this thing. We don't have a taste for that Lord's name. Mm. And mm. there again, similarly, the remedy mm. is to do Correct. chanting mm. of uh, Lord's name and Correct. gradually you provide the, develop that taste for Correct. the Correct. sweet name of the yes. Lord. Yes, yes. Very nicely, very nicely. Very accurately you described, Prabhu. Manishji, it was uh, like what Vasudevan Prabhu has mentioned. It's a, uh, say, when we do chanting, I'll give you an example. When we do chanting, do we really get that sweetness of Krishna's holy name when we do chanting? Not initially. Not, not, not initially. Immediately. Right. So we don't get that taste. So why are we not getting that taste? It is mainly because of avidya. Avidya. Okay. Avidya, avidya of what? We studied this in Nectar of Devotion also. Avidya means what here? Avidya means we don't consider Krishna to be the uh, master of us. Mm. Uh, we, we are still uh, not thinking in our consciousness that Lord Krishna is the master of uh, uh, everyone. We are still thinking that we are the masters. So that is the main avidya. That is the main Prabhuji, ignorance. Can I just add one more thing in that? So my yes, yes, Prabhuji. understanding is correct. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So the, the avidya is, uh, I thought, twofold. One is our Yeah, yes, Prabhu. body consciousness. We think we are the body and we are not the soul. And then the integral part of the of Krishna, it belongs to Krishna. And uh, so then we automatically get the taste. So it's body yes, consciousness yes. that uh, makes us trying to lord over the material world or over this thing. That's my yes, understanding. Yes. Please yes. correct me. No, that is correct, Prabhu. You, you further... Uh, uh, you have further, uh, uh, I would say, elaborated on why do we not feel, you have given the reason why why do we not feel that Krishna is our master? Because the gunas are affecting uh, our consciousness. They are overcoming us. We are, uh, we are, our soul is covered with impurities and that is why we are not able to perceive Lord Krishna as our master. Once by doing devotional service, we clarify, we purify ourselves then our true nature is revealed to us and that's where we understand that we are part and parcel of Krishna. Very, very correct. I, I fully agree with you. So, Maniji, here the analogy is <clears throat> uh, that when we are in a state of jaundice, when we are diseased with jaundice, when, and we try to taste sugar candy, the sugar candy will appear bitter to us. Yeah. Huh? But the sugar candy itself is the treatment for jaundice. Mm. So even if we are finding it bitter, we continue to take sugar candy and then we get rid of jaundice. Similarly, right now, we are in avidya. We are having a, a jaundice of avidya. We, the jivas. And when we try to practice devotional service, we try to practice chanting of holy names. Uh, we try to practice hearing of uh, Krishna Katha. It appears bitter to us. Uh, why, why are we doing it? It is There is no taste. Uh, this takes so much time. What is the use? Why not do something else like that? It, we find it very bitter. But the same holy name actually is the treatment for that avidya. Correct. Correct. We continue to... We continue to... So we don't do devotional service mainly because... Uh, we get taste. We we do devotional service so that one day we will get taste. Yeah. Uh, one day we will get taste. So to purify our ourselves. So that is the that is the whole analogy. Thank you. So Prabhu. yeah, what is nations compared to? Nations is compared to the jaundice. Jaundice. Very good. Okay. Effect of avidya. Which of the following transcendentally palatable things does avidya perverts 
the ability to relish we just now discussed i think you will be able to quickly answer this name of krishna quality of krishna form and past times of krishna all of the above correct answer all is the, all of the above all of the above hai na because this avidya is there this uh, avidya is coming from where avidya is coming from all these gunas uh, satva guna rajo guna tamo guna that are all covering our pure consciousness uh, so when we uh, because of this uh, avidya we are not able to appreciate the name of the lord we are not able to appreciate the purity of the lord we are not able to appreciate the past times of the lord and so on so the correct answer here is all of the above recovery of spiritual health recovery of spiritual health hmm? how is the recovery of spiritual health possible by enthusiasm by knowledge by regular cultivation of krishna consciousness none of the above correct answer is c c c by correct answer is by regular cultivation of krishna consciousness now you can now you can connect this uh, text uh, question number 13 to the original concept of text number 7 so we are trying to do devotional service we are trying to cultivate krishna consciousness but we are finding it very difficult we are finding it bitter but ultimately if we continue to do krishna consciousness activities of krishna consciousness again and again by discipline by practice slowly and gradually the anarthas the covering on our heart will go away and ultimately our pure spiritual identity will be revealed brahma bhuyaye kalpate brahma dravatvam that will be revealed once the dirty things are gone the pure part is revealed and uh, that is how we regain our we recover our spiritual health aap samajh gaye manish ji yes prabhu prabhu ji kya isme avidya ye karan hai jo hamari condition soul hai wo koi karan nahi hai प्रभु जी सोल की कंडीशनिंग किस लिए होती है अविद्या के कारण होती है अविद्या जो है इसकी जड़ है रूट कॉज है आप आप तो ध्यान कीजिए तो पहले से चली आ रही है प्रभु जी कंडीशन सोल तो पहले जन्म से मिल रही है हमको क्योंकि हम तो मानते हैं कृष्ण ही सब कुछ है सब भगवान है हमारे नहीं हम मानते हैं हम मानते हैं थियोरिटिकली जी थियोरिटिकली हम मानते हैं लेकिन हमारा हमारा जो जिसे अंदर से जिसे कन्विक्शन कहते हैं वो कन्विक्शन नहीं है yes, वो कन्विक्शन नहीं है जैसे प्रहलाद महाराज का कन्विक्शन था प्रहलाद महाराज से पूछा भाई इस थम्बे में तुम्हारे भगवान है बोले हाँ है hmm. हमसे पूछेंगे तो हम नहीं कह सकते हम कन्विक्शन से नहीं कह सकते yes, है ना हम जब क्लास में पढ़ते हाँ हम जब क्लास में पढ़ते हैं तो कन्विक्शन आ जाता है लेकिन जब क्लास से बाहर चले जाते हैं तो कन्विक्शन चला जाता है <laughs> तो जनरली ऐसा होता है तो एनी anyway, क्लास में कम से कम क्लास में तो हो <laughs> क्लास में हो या क्लास के दो घंटे बाद तक तो हो यही वैदी भक्ति यही होती है राइट दैट इज वैदी भक्ति नाउ यू ऑल्सो रिलेट टू वॉट वी आर स्टडिंग इन नेक्टर ऑफ डिवोशन इन नेक्टर ऑफ डिवोशन वी अंडरस्टूड दी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ प्योर डिवोशन सर्विस द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज क्लेश अग्नि and klesha agni what is klesha klesha means suffering suffering comes from where it comes from papam papam comes from where papam comes from bijam bijam comes from where bijam comes from avidya so avidya bijam papam and then klesha agni and then klesha sorry so the root cause is avidya root cause is avidya right avidya means we don't accept lord krishna as our master right. <coughs> that is the that is the forgetfulness aur usi chakkar mein when we don't remember lord krishna as our master we do all kind of nonsense things when we do nonsense things that is something that creates bijam that creates reaction karma and then ultimately it leads to papam then again it creates bija again creates uh, papam that cycle continues 
okay okay so by regular by regular cultivation of krishna consciousness now relate this question with what you are studying in nectar of devotion in nectar of devotion what did we do we studied the six qualities of pure devotional service one was kleshagni and in kleshagni we studied avidya then bijam then papam like that three three fold causes of klesha three fold causes of suffering and then what did we studying in what did we study then then what did we study we study that pure devotional service is uh, papa haratvam what did uh, and then we studied it is bij haratvam then it is avidya haratvam so pure devotional service destroys uh, the the papam the bijam and the avidya also it destroys root cause it destroys pure devotional service so the same thing you are studying here 13th question number 13 how our recovery of spiritual health possible by regular cultivation of krishna consciousness because it will destroy all kind of papam bijam and avidya <clears throat> and your pure shining uh, spirit soul uh, rakesh garg's spirit soul pure shining will be uh, Uh, coming out in the sky uh, and and shining like sun and then that will be very a uh, pure stage three stages of chanting explain the three stages of chanting as mentioned in text 7 paragraph 6 what is the answer okay this is a descriptive question what is the, the answer at the first stage is the offensive stage when you do mm-hmm. the chanting you know it mm-hmm. happens as often then the second stage is the lessening of the offenses and they are completely free from offense third stage Very is good. a pure stage that is pure stage yeah. okay yeah. now to, yeah okay very good answer paragraph 6 it is mentioned very clearly now come to the another uh, another part what are the nine stages of uh, bhakti starting from shraddha What are the nine stages of bhakti starting from Shraddha? This should be on fingertips. Adho Shraddha, Adho Shraddha, uh-huh. Adho Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajanat Kriya, Anarth Nivrti, uh-huh. Nishtha, Ruchi and Ashakti Bhava Prema. Nishtha, Ruchi, uh, Nishtha is for uh, Nishtha, Ruchi and Ashakti. What is the sequence? Then uh, Bhajanat Kriya, Anarth Nivrti, Nishtha, Ruchi. nishtha and then ruchi and then asakti and then bhava prema and then and then prema okay now the first stage of chanting which is offensive chanting so which stages till what stages offensive chanting continues till anartha nivrti i mean, I mean uh bhajan hmm. kriya you do that start uh, doing the chanting and uh, hmm. anath when we are uh, removing the all this you know our mind becomes pure by doing that uh, i mean chanting offensive chanting hmm. eh? then anath yeah. all the anarthas get away from our uh, mind and yeah. then uh, one gets fixed in uh, nishta samadhi hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. i feel yeah. uh, then the one develops uh, ruchi and then ashakti and then it goes finally to krishna prema okay so, so first stage first stage first stage is offensive chanting so offensive chanting continues shraddha stage sadhu sangha stage and bhajan kriya stage yeah okay then the next stage is lessening of offenses lessening of offenses continues till what stage lessening of offenses continues till what stage till asakti till asakti yes so uh, uh, you see anarth nivritti nishtha asakti ruchi i think ruchi will be first and then asakti would be later anarth nivritti nishtha ruchi asakti asakti hmm then uh, the pure stage comes when the bhava is there bhava and prem hmm? that is the pure stage actually in bhava stage also there are some anarthas and offenses but more or less it is pure 
there are uh, you you remember in nectar of devotion we studied the difference between bhava bhakti and prema bhakti so prema bhakti uh, is without any offenses and without any uh, anarthas so in each of these stages actually even after anartha nivritti stage what it means is more or less generally the anarthas are gone now nishtha uh, ruchi asakti we are now having a positive emotion towards the lord we are having that positive attraction towards the lord but in bhava stage uh, almost it is pure almost gone all the anarthas and offenses and in prema it is no offenses no anarthas are there but so these are the three stages of chanting there are uh, so prabhupada in his purport has defined broadly in offensive chanting stage of lessening offense and pure stage <clears throat> so this is mainly about vaidhi bhakti when we are practicing bhakti when we are practicing devotional service how slowly and gradually uh, the offenses are gone now one question is there anarthas present in asakti stage or nishtha stage or it is completely gone at anartha nivritti stage so there are stages here shraddha sadhu sanga bhajan kriya anarth nivritti so once anarth nivritti stage is achieved uh, and you move to nishtha stage are there any anarthas or offenses still in nishtha stage yes i i don't i don't think so probably i nishtha means the samadhi you know that is the samadhi if nishtha is not pakka <laughs> hmm. yeah see the point here is the anartha nivritti so continues and stable the anarthas continues from shraddha to all the way to prem bhava there are anarthas there in some level from shraddha stage to bhava but the point is the anarthas continue to decrease at each stage passing so there are still some anarthas even at bhava stage but it is more or less pure it is actually brahma brahma bhuya kalpate stage bhava stage is actually brahma bhuya kalpata stage brahma dravatvam so you can at this stage if you are you can get liberation moksha but there would be some anarthas some offenses still might be there very slight tinge so that's what it is so and uh, when you are at a stage of for example ruchi do you not have shraddha or 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 do you you have overcome that stage what does it mean at ruchi stage do ruchi you still have shraddha mean, shraddha is the base of ruchi, ruchi also ruchi stage is the stage in which one i mean develops a taste for the hmm. krishna bhava and prema so yeah, yeah so actually it should be ruchi uh, let me correct it first uh, first ruchi then asakti prabhu yeah first ruchi and then asakti should be there i may made a mistake there let me correct it so that you don't get confused here so uh, yeah so it should be like this <clears throat> now my question is my question is in uh, in asakti stage what happens to shraddha so once you cross the shraddha stage do you, does that mean that shraddha is no longer there guru ji that is the base of all the that is the base right so what it means is at asakti stage the shraddha becomes even stronger so shraddha means here when we start something when we start something devotional that means slight shraddha little faith little faith for example for example when we go and invite people for bhagavad gita class how does it work that the person whom we are inviting for bhagavad gita class have heard about bhagavad gita somewhere he has some shraddha about bhagavad gita and he knows or he have heard that in bhagavad gita how to live how to live life it's a major uh, document for vedantic scriptures and so on he have heard all that but he doesn't know more about it so he has some shraddha for bhagavad gita some positive emotion towards that book and then he would join similarly uh, we start our devotional service with some shraddha or devotees are good people satsang should be done it is nice 
it is good to chant some holy name some shraddha is there and then we start then with that shraddha we come into the association of devotees that starts with sadhu sangha but when we start to do sadhu sangha our shraddha intensifies further shraddha is still there it further intensifies we 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 do sadhu sangha or oh, the devotees are very nice people uh, they they don't uh, they don't think of uh, harm to anyone they are dedicated towards the lord they are all having good habits they are very gentle they are kind oh, so, so, uh, devotees are nice now the shraddha is intensified and then in sadhu sangha he starts to do bhajan kriya now what he thinks is oh, devotees are nice i should also do what devotees are doing जो ये लोग कर रहे हैं ये लोग चैंटिंग करते हैं ये लोग कीर्तन करते हैं ये लोग कथा करते हैं ये लोग क्लास में बैठते हैं ये लोग क्विज लिखते हैं ये सब काम करते हैं ये लोग मैं भी करूंगा ऐसे उसका भजन क्रिया शुरू हो जाता है तो भजन क्रिया शुरू होने का मतलब ये नहीं कि साधु संघ छूट गया अभी वो साधु संघ भी चल रहा है श्रद्धा अभी और गहरी हो गई है पहले वो सिर्फ देख रहा था साधु को करते हुए अभी वो खुद भी कर रहा है ही हिमसेल्फ स्टार्टेड डूइंग now when he start to do this bhajan kriya when he start to take the medicine then anarth nivritti then the disease starts to reduce abhi uske anarth jo hai anarth kya hai kaam krodh lob moh mad matsarya lust anger greed pride illusion envy all those are now coming down anarth nivritti broadly they are come down broadly they have come down then nishtha nishtha means now because anarthas broadly have come down he is very sincere he is dedicated now he is regular pehle wo kabhi class mein do din jata tha do hafte jata tha ek hafte chutti leta tha teesre hafte jata tha fir ek chutti leta tha abhi wo kya kar raha hai abhi wo regular aata hai abhi wo chhodta nahi apna class uska nishtha ho gaya hai wo 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 abhi fix ho gaya fixed up sincere ho gaya abhi नाउ निष्ठा करते करते अब इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि निष्ठा में अनर्थ नहीं है अनर्थ है अभी भी लेकिन अभी धीरे धीरे और कम हो गए देन रुचि अब निष्ठा में के साथ साथ अब उसको अब उसको स्वाद आने लगा है ही इज नाउ गेटिंग टेस्ट नाउ ही इज एंजॉइंग इट इन निष्ठा ही वॉज मोर डेडिकेटेड मोर सिंसियर बट नाउ इज एक्चुअली एंजॉइंग इट एंड इन आसक्ति वॉट हैपन्स इज ही कैन नॉट लिव विदाउट इट इन रुचि ही इज एंजॉइंग इन आसक्ति ही कैन नॉट लिव विदाउट इट जैसे वो फिल्मों में गाना गाते ना हीरो हीरोइन हम बने तुम बने एक दूजे के लिए वो 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 हालत हो जाती है वो हालत हो जाता है कि भैया मैं तो मंदिर जाए बिना या कृष्ण कथा सुने बिना मैं रह नहीं सकता हूं दैट इज दिचुएशन आसक्ति एंड अल्टीमेटली भाव भाव मीन्स ना इमोशन हैव स्टार्टेड टू मैनिफेस्ट इन द बॉडी Uh, he will he will cry he will uh, hair will stand on the uh, hand wo emotion body mein bhi dikhne lagenge abhi tak to sirf bhitar mein jo emotion the uh, wo the lekin ab wo emotion itne intense ho gaye hain ki wo ab body level par bhi manifest hone lage hain uh, that is what bhav means and prema is uh, complete surrender to the lord so this is but in each of these stages shraddha is there sadhu sangha is there bhajan kriya is there Uh, each of these stages the previous stage is already there but in a more stronger way i hope that point was clear to so we'll move forward <clears throat> sorry sorry yeah uh, prabhu ji guru ji isliye na one doubt hai shraddha jo aaya tha ha ji boliye boliye theek hai ha ji main bolu ya dusre pe nahi nahi aap boliye aap boliye prabhu आप बोलिए हाँ इसलिए श्रद्धा जो है वो दूसरे अध्याय में कितना शुरू में ही आ गया था अड़तालीस श्लोक में श्रद्धा वनम लब्धे ज्ञानम कि ज्ञान के लिए श्रद्धा का बेस फाउंडेशन जरूरी है तो अब ये सारी हाँ चीजें हाँ अविद्या जो है ज्ञान से अटैच्ड है तो हाँ। इसलिए श्रद्धा तो फाउंडेशन है बेस है ही है हर एक चीज में कहीं भी हम नहीं पहुंच सकते जब तक हमारे में श्रद्धा नहीं है बिल, बिल्कुल 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 ठीक कह रहे हैं आप जी आप हवाई जहाज में भी बैठते हैं तो ये फेथ होता है कि पायलट आपको ठीक ठाक पहुंचा देगा वहां पे जी गुरु जी 
और नाई की नाई की कुर्सी पे बैठते हैं तो ये श्रद्धा के साथ बैठते हैं कि नाई जो उस तरह इस्तेमाल कर रहा है वो गला काटने के लिए नहीं करेगा आपकी वो फेथ जी थोड़ा जी जी। तो हर काम में फेथ चाहिए हर काम में थोड़ा थोड़ा फेथ चाहिए हर जगह साइंस नहीं आती है हर जगह थोड़ा सा फेथ हमको चाहिए होता है उसी से हम आगे बढ़ते हैं तो साइंस तो सिर्फ वो कम्युनिस्ट फिर हो गया ना वो तो एथिस्ट हो गया ना वो हाँ जी हाँ जी चले वॉट शुड ये क्या हो रहा है भाई ये एक मिनट रुकी है ओके व्हाट शुड वन बिगिन विथ टू टेक टू द चैंटिंग ऑफ हरे कृष्ण महामंत्रा इन ऑर्डर टू गेट फ्रीड फ्रॉम द मटेरियल डिजीज टेक्स्ट सेवन पैराग्राफ नंबर सेवन अटैचमेंट फेथ नॉलेज एंड लॉजिक प्रभु जी हाँ अभी तो डिस्कस किया इतना सारा <laughs> पूरा लंबा चौड़ा हमने कमेंट्री दिया तो मैं इसका आंसर लिखना भूल गया था तो इसका करेक्ट आंसर है फेथ डज एवरी वन एग्री जी गुरु जी ओके जी थैंक यू सो वी हैव दी करेक्ट आंसर इज फेथ गुड चलिए आगे चलें। स्टेज ऑफ अटैचमेंट टू कृष्णा एट वॉट स्टेज डज अ पर्सन बिकम्स अटैच टू कृष्णा एंड हिज एक्टिविटीज एंड एक्सपीरियंस एक्सटेसी इन एग्जीक्यूटिंग डिवोशनल सर्विस द ऑफेंसिव स्टेज द स्टेज ऑफ लेसनिंग ऑफेंसिस द प्योर स्टेज नन ऑफ द अब प्योर स्टेज प्योर स्टेज प्योर स्टेज ओके एवरी वन एग्रीज So, इसमें जो की पॉइंट है वो है एक्सपीरियंस इज एक्सटेसी एक्सटेसी मीन्स भाव इन एग्जीक्यूटिंग डिवोशनल सर्विस सो दैट इज द प्योर स्टेज प्योर स्टेज स्टार्ट विद भाव भाव भक्ति द करेक्ट आंसर इज द प्योर स्टेज वेरी गुड बाकी सब लोगों को समझ में आ रहा है ना ऐसा तो नहीं कि वी आर गोइंग वेरी फास्ट एंड अदर्स आर लेफ्ट लिविंग लेफ्ट बिहाइंड अदर्स आर एबल टू डू इट आर एबल टू फॉलो इट यस प्रभु ओके थैंक यू एडवाइज इन टेक्स्ट एट व्हाट इज शिला रूप गोस्वामी एडवाइजिंग अस इन नेक्टर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्स्ट नंबर एट ट्रेन अवर माइंड्स टू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर कृष्णा लीव एवरीथिंग एंड रिजाइड इन वृंदावन ट्रेन अवर टंग टू स्पीक अबाउट कृष्णा एंड टेस्ट ओनली कृष्ण प्रसादम reside in vrindavan and remember krishna by taking shelter of an advanced devotee all of the above what is the correct answer all of the above all of the above all of the above very good now this is the verse which is the called sar uh, updesh sar <clears throat> updesh sar means the essence of all advice huh? कालम नयेद अखिलम इति उपदेश सारम इन द एंड टेक्स्ट नंबर एट रूप गोस्वामी सिंह इट इज दिस इज द उपदेश सारम सो व्हाट इज द उपदेश सारम ये जितने भी मैंने आपको रूप गोस्वामी कह रहे हैं पहले श्लोक से लेके सातवें श्लोक तक जितने भी मैंने आपको बताए हैं सबका सार क्या है कभी आप कभी आप डेविएट हो जाओ कभी आप उस चीज को प्रॉपर ना समझ बैठो और कहीं और इधर उधर आप अपना मार्ग भटक जाओ तो मैं बिल्कुल क्लैरिफाई कर देना चाह रहा हूं रूप गोस्वामी कह रहे हैं कि ये सारी की सारी जो इंस्ट्रक्शन मैंने दी हैं उनका उपदेश सार क्या है उस उपदेश का सार क्या है उपदेश का सार ये है कि भाई अपना मन जो है वो हमेशा भगवान के स्मरण में लगाओ लीव एवरीथिंग एंड रिजाइड इन वृंदावन रिजाइड इन वृंदावन मीन्स फॉलो दी गाइडेंस ऑफ डिवोटीज हु हैव वृंदावन इन देयर हार्ट लाइक प्रभुपाद प्रभुपाद ऑलरेडी मे बी यूएस में थे या दुनिया में कहीं भी जा रहे थे लेकिन उनके हृदय में हमेशा वृंदावन का मूड था हमेशा वृंदावन का भाव था तो रिजाइड इन वृंदावन वुड मीन फॉलो इन द फुट स्टेप्स और फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एडवांस डिवोटी ट्रेन अवर टंग टू स्पीक अबाउट कृष्णा एंड टेस्ट ओनली कृष्ण प्रसाद रिजाइड इन वृंदावन अगेन रिजाइड इन वृंदावन and remember krishna by taking shelter of an advanced devotee 
एक एडवांस भक्त का उत्तम भक्त का शरण लिया जाए तो ये सब इसका सार है ये सब इसका सार है कि जैसे आपने अभी यहां पर टेक्स्ट नंबर टू में या और पहले जो टेक्स्ट हैं कि आपको एसोसिएशन कैसे करना है आपको अत्याहार नहीं करना है प्रयास नहीं करना है प्रयास मतलब टू मच एंडेवर नहीं करना है प्रजल्प मतलब बेकार की प्रजल्प नहीं करना है नियमाग्रह जन संघ लौल्य ये जितनी भी सारी चीजें मैं बता रहा हूं रूप गोस्वामी कह रहे हैं अल्टीमेटली उसका सार क्या है अल्टीमेटली उसका सार ये है भगवान का स्मरण एक शुद्ध भक्त का संग ये सब हमको करना है दैट इज वॉट इज ट्रेंग से चलिए हाउ इज माइंड अवर एनिमी ओके दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द स्लाइड नॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम द परपोर्ट ऑफ शिल प्रभुपार कैन आई ट्राई प्रभु जी यस प्रभु यस मनी जी करिए so especially the mind there are the full form of m which says magnify his problem hmm. i means imagine pleasures n is neglect opportunities and hmm. d mean denies realities Very so good. our mind hmm. definitely is not i would say stable it is always unstable and controlled by all the three modes of material hmm. nature the, the three modes uh, uh, make the mind dance as per their wish yeah hmm. and a very hmm. good analogy which is given in the book is of a <clears throat> pond yeah a pond hmm. has a water and from the top it looks very stable very nice very pure but at hmm. the bottom there is a sludge there is a debris which is uh, located at the bottom and then it gets fermented over a period of time and then the bubbles or the dirt comes up and goes down hmm. so it is something like that our mind also gets disturbed by all Correct. these instances and it is not very hmm. stable hmm yeah. hmm Hmm. so this is what has been stated that how we want to keep our mind in control yeah and okay. how our mind is disturbed by this modes of material nature okay what is the connection between mind our enemy and upadesh sar abhi jo upadesh sar humne rup goswami ji ka 8vein shlok mein dekha uska mm-hmm. aur mind ka kya connection hai so so our mind has to be completely uh, see, uh, concentrated on krishna consciousness so we have should always cultivate our mind has to be focused only on krishna consciousness out of all yeah. the material senses and everything yeah so the point is unless we defeat this enemy mind yeah we cannot perform the upadesh sar instruction of rup goswami properly correct hai na to humko apna enemy ko janna zaruri hai hmm wo enemy hamare jo jag jeeta ji ha man jeeta jag jeeta hai ji man par shasan nij par shasan fir anushasan तो मन मन को मन को नियंत्रण में करेंगे तभी उपदेश सार जो है वो अचीव कर पाएंगे और वो मन मन का क्या हिसाब है मन का हिसाब है इट मैग्निफाइज प्रॉब्लम्स ये तिल का ताड़ बना देता है छोटा सा बात होता है उसको ही ब्रिंग्स अ मोल अ माउंटेन हिल आउट ऑफ अ मोल एक छोटा सा उसको तिल को ताड़ बना देता है उसके लिए हमको क्या करना है उसके लिए हमको ठंडे दिमाग से सोचना होता है और प्रॉब्लम जि, जितनी बड़ी है उससे ज्यादा बड़ा उसको बनने नहीं देना चाहिए दैट इज वन सोल्यूशन दैट इज द सोल्यूशन टू ओवरकम दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दैट माइंड प्रेजेंट बिफोर अस इट मैग्निफाइज प्रॉब्लम्स देन इमेजिन प्लेजर्स माइंड हैज दिस टेंडेंसी ऑफ डे ड्रीमिंग आज मेरे पास इतना है कल इतना होगा परसों इतना होगा आज मैं चीफ मिनिस्टर हूं कल प्रधानमंत्री बनूंगा परसों यूनाइटेड नेशन का प्रेसिडेंट बन जाऊंगा एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा तो ये जो नेगेटिव थॉट्स हैं दे वेस्ट आवर टाइम दे वेस्ट आवर एनर्जी समटाइम्स इवन ड्रैग आवर कॉन्शियसनेस डाउन तो द सोल्यूशन शुड बी आवर प्रायरिटी शुड बी वेरी क्लियर एंड प्रैक्टिकल रियलिटी में बेस होना चाहिए उनको तो ऐसा माइंड को हमको अननेसेसरी वी शुड नॉट लेट इट लूज टू डे ड्रीम देन नेग्लेक्ट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन ऑर्डर टू advance in our life there are many opportunities in spiritual uh, life there are many opportunities uh, so we should not uh, neglect these opportunities generally what happens is the mind keeps on thinking uh, that in the past it this opportunity came but again this was a problem that was the problem so it will continue to lament about the past and then for future uh, uh, whenever you have to do something then it will postpone it to the future or no not now i will do it in future 
probably after two years i will do it not now uh, now i am already a family man uh, how can i find time for chanting hari krishna how can i find time to read bhagavad gita i will do it when uh, when i will retire and so on and so forth there is these are the uh, tricks of the mind but a proper person thinks that whatever mistake i have done in the past i should learn from them uh, uh, for future i should plan uh, with a with a proper vision that uh, if even if i have to do something i have to read scriptures there should be a proper plan uh, i have to I have to plan properly and then i have to act now uh, whatever plan i have made i have to act now on that plan so this is where we will uh, not neglect opportunity we will not postpone the opportunities we will uh, be very realistic and grounded and denies realities denies realities means uh, bhagavad gita says dukhalayam ashashvatam this world is a place of misery but we are still acting in a way that we are trying to find pleasure in this world no 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 uh, maybe still there is some pleasure if i go and watch this movie i will get some pleasure there is still some pleasure in uh, 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 associating with that materialistic person uh, he he speaks so nice he he presented things so nice no but then uh, what is the solution we continue to do association of the good devotees and we continue to hear we continue to learn about krishna consciousness regularly continuously every day so we will when we learn about krishna bhakti we will be reminded of these realities of life uh, again and again so we will we will be again grounded so these are the four ways where mind tricks us and these are the solutions how we can uh, avoid the tricks of the mind so why we are we should do it because we want to follow the updesh sar of rup go swami properly stage of attachment to krishna <clears throat> by constantly hearing of krishna's transcendental form qualities and pastimes one becomes attached to krishna katha what is this stage called as shravan dasa varan dasa smarana avastha sampatti dasha correct answer is please tell me स्टेबलोरली so that is actually called varan dasha <clears throat> varan means uh, accepting it jaise varan sita ka varan unhone kiya uh, bhagwan shri ram ne sita ka varan kiya varan matlab unko apna uh, saathi chuna unko apna uh, sita ji ne shri ram ka varan kiya matlab unko apna var ke roop mein unhe swikar kiya so this is known as varan dasha how to perceive holy dham explain the formula for perceiving holy place so on text number 9 we discuss this in our class uh, how do we should when we go to a holy place when we go to a teerth sthan vrindavan mathura uh, jagannath puri uh, kedarnath um, vaishno devi etc etc when we go to a holy place what should be our vision how should we look at it because holy dham is generally we find that there are uh, Uh, sea wages open sea wages there are animals roaming here and there uh, there are beggars uh, sitting on the street asking for uh, donation etc etc uh, so how we think that we thought that vrindavan in the scripture was very beautiful place there would be cuckoos chirping and there would be uh, gandharva singing song etc etc but here we find open sea wages and uh, some animals stray animals dogs here roaming roaming here and there how should we now look at this vrindavan it is very different from uh, the dham described in the scriptures so uh, what is the formula we describe to perceive holy dham it should be based on a scriptural description yes then our <clears throat> then that gets us our sensory purification and very then good. we have to pray for revelation <clears throat> that is the thing we do to pray for revelation pray. yeah very good yes yes that is the formula so answer is ordinary i perceives dirt sewage hogs and dogs when we go to a holy place and uh, we should understand that we perceive 
होली धाम ओनली बेस्ड ऑन अवर अधिकार अधिकार मीन्स क्वालिफिकेशन लाइक वी आर स्टडिंग इन एक्ट ऑफ डिवोशन उत्तम अधिकारी मध्यम अधिकारी कनिष्ठ अधिकारी अधिकारी मीन्स क्वालिफिकेशन हाउ मच अधिकार डू वी हैव हाउ मच कैपेसिटी डू वी हैव क्वालिफाइड क्वालिफिकेशन डू वी हैव एनोलॉजी एक्सेस राइट टू मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर सो लाइक वी हैव अ मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर नॉट एवरी वन हैव ऑल द राइट टू एक्सेस दी मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर मे बी दी एम्प्लॉज विल ओनली हैव राइट टू यूज the ceo of the company will have all the access of pain frame computer and the other person only have access to uh, trouble shooting main frame computer etc etc so different people have different accesses similarly by the adhikar we have by the qualification we have <clears throat> we also access uh, have access to the holy dham uh, in in at different levels uh, we we may have at a basic level at a medium level at an advanced level we may have that adhikar why do we not have full adhikar to uh, holy dham because of our anarthas because of the impurities on the heart hmm? and the formula is we look at the holy dham uh, based on the scriptural description we perceive it like that theoretically also and at the same time we continue to strive for sensory purification which is uh, purifying ourselves from our anarthas and then pray for revelation we need mercy of the lord please kindly reveal the glory of the holy dham to us uh, please kindly reveal unless the lord uh, like we mentioned in uh, in the nectar of devotion lord krishna doesn't give pure bhakti very easily we studied that similarly we pray for revelation we pray for mm-hmm. that adhikar uh, to perceive that holy dham like that we should understand it very nice answer prabhu thank you how to understand relationship between gopis and krishna so that was a very important question we discussed for text number 10 should i try prabhu ji yes rajesh ji please go ahead prabhu ji gopis were most exalted devotees of lord krishna very good they knew only mm. satisfying krishna and expect nothing in return from krishna hmm they could not forget krishna even for a moment okay so they their relationship cannot be simply put mundane as a simple man woman relationship okay now we should understand that we are neither male or female we are a spirit okay. soul independent okay. of any gender okay <clears throat> again we should understand that lord can manifest in any form mm-hmm. like narsimha fish mm-hmm. and devotees mm-hmm. can also manifest in any form like kunti hanuman mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so example is ka embracing of lord and gopis are same as lord ram embracing hanumana okay. means that master is embracing the servant okay so, very good so we should not uh, see this relationship as a mundane man woman relationship okay when lord krishna embraces gopis is Guruji. there a feeling is there a is there a emotion of lust between two of them no prabhu ji okay can you how how do you explain that they Prima. are just, they are just huh. spirit souls prabhu ji okay ha huh. okay you are close to the answer i'm looking forward to one specific point see uh, when when we we just now studied in the beginning of the class pure devotee means there is no anartha there is no lust anger greed pride illusion envy brahma bhuyaya kalpate brahma dravatvam they are at the level of brahma or when we talk about gopis they are actually even above the level of brahma hmm. they are they have they are pure devotees means only at the level of prema so the point you can explain this that when the devotees are purified then there is no tinge of lust anger greed pride illusion and envy there is no calm there in their heart so and lord krishna is pure he is para brahma lord krishna is para brahma yes so lord krishna doesn't have any idea what is lust anger greed pride illusion and envy he doesn't even know about it he doesn't come even very even close to the three modes of material nature he is gunatith he is nirguna Uh, we we uh, many times we heard this name called nirguna 
what does nirguna means in terms of lord nirguna means he doesn't have any connection with all these gunas sattva rajas tamas and because he doesn't have any connection with sattva rajas tamas he is pure shuddha he doesn't have any tinge of lust and the pure devotee also doesn't have any tinge of lust so when lord without any full purity is embracing a devotee with full purity there cannot be any question of lust so when we say that devotees uh, gopis are uh, spirit soul pure soul that means as spirit soul they don't have any covering of lust anger greed pride illusion envy they have don't have any like anything like that so when the lord is embracing the gopis it is same as the lord embracing hanuman ji mm. there is no difference so the answer is you gave a very good answer you covered all the points prabhu very nice but i just wanted to add that subtle understanding of pure devotee and what when we say we are spirit soul pure spirit soul we are neither male and female what actually does it mean in terms of consciousness in terms of chetana hmm? so we are neither males or females we are spirit soul the emotion of lust between male and female is due to rajoguna pure devotees are at a transcendental platform above gunas therefore no question of lust systematic study of shrimad bhagavatam reveals god and devotees can come in various forms canto 10 reveals god as cowherd boy devotees as cowherd girls embrace of krishna and gopis is to be seen in same way as embrace of lord ram and hanuman ji okay so that gives you a good idea of why Uh, embracing of gopis and krishna is not at a mundane level it's a very very transcendental uh, emotional exchange between the lord and the devotee that is what we need to understand okay so limit imitation of exalted past time so we come to the conclusion last question of this class what was shila prabhupad's opinion on imitating exalted past times like ras leela please explain briefly <clears throat> yes anyone would like to attempt this last he one is, he disapproved it prabhu ji he disapproved it very good very nice and uh, why did he disapprove it because it may take them in wrong direction sensually it may take them it, it may yeah it may take them in wrong direction if you are not advanced and then if you try to imitate this past time it may not uh it may not actually it it will be misunderstood by you or probably the others also uh, like uh, we have been misunderstanding these past times of uh, krishna and gopis uh, many people misunderstand them not only us but if you go outside sometimes people uh sometimes people think uh, krishna is a womanizer uh, see these hindus are worshiping a, a god who is actually a womanizer if if you go to some people some communities who criticize hinduism or who actually blaspheme hinduism they think that they are these people are actually worshiping a god who is a womanizer who is a playboy but that is not the point we just now discussed they cannot be womanizer and playboy kind of concepts there between two pure uh, uh, one is supreme lord and one is the devotee of the lord so similarly if we are doing these imitating exalted yeah, past time yeah. like ras leela Uh, that may be misunderstood and uh, we should be very very careful uh, i just gave this answer some perspective to it in bhakti we utilize matter to serve spiritual uh, there is gyan marg in gyan marg what is said brahma satya uh, jagat mithya brahma satya jagat mithya means only give preference to brahma which is spiritual and reject jagat reject matter so the the gyani is they reject matter uh, they don't want to live in this world they don't want to uh, come in contact with all kind of uh, different different uh, 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 positions posts grahastha ashram and so on they don't want to do that they simply go for spiritual purely spiritual like arjun was saying in uh, bhagavad gita why should i fight this war i will go to forest jagat mithya brahma satya but in bhakti we do we don't say jagat mithya we say we utilize jagat for the purpose of the lord because jagat belongs to the lord the lord is master of jagat 
because the lord is the master we utilize jagat for the service of the lord but when we do this we should not misunderstand that everything is this jagat in this world can be utilized to serve the lord not everything not all matter can take us to spiritual not all material things in this world can take us to spiritual for example alcohol cigarettes sex they don't take us to spiritual although these are activities these are materials of this world but they don't take us to the world, uh, to uh, uh, to the lord so there are some traditions like tantra tradition which utilizes sex as a means to spiritual realization and some these thoughts these perversive thoughts somehow have entered into vaishnava uh, thinking also uh, unfortunately and in a wrong way so these thoughts entered into vaishnavism too but these were heavily condemned by our acharyas they are not representative of vaishnavism they are something like a deviation from vaishnavism so shila prabhupad would advise us to refrain from imitation of exalted past time as it will take us in the wrong direction shila prabhupad would also sometimes say that uh, when we get these emotions of bhakti we should not demonstrate them in public because the public doesn't understand them and they may they may take it in a in, in a wrong way they may find uh, devotees to be like fools they may think like that and that way that might affect their own faith in 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 devotional service so like that we should understand this that uh, uh uh these kind of exalted past time we should not imitate them and radha krishna entering into us like in tantra tradition they say that shiva and parvati are entering into us uh, uh vaishnavism dis- distorted vaishnavism would say radha krishna entering into us and prabhupad would recommend prabhupad would comment on that that this is not ras leela this is actually rascal leela rascal leela means a very uh, abominable kind of thinking abominable kind of activity and emotion we are we are demonstrating here so uh, i think with that we have covered uh, primarily the whole nectar of instruction we have covered important aspects of nectar of instruction and i hope this was a useful uh, value adding experience to all the devotees who are present uh, others might watch the recording uh, most likely so with that are there any other questions any other feedback from the devotees maybe we can uh, close after that it, it was uh, a wonderful you... mention prabhu it was a wonderful revision of uh, chapters 6 to 11 we had a I mean, we have seen. I want to sincerely express. Uh, I mean, it was a real wonder, wonderful revision. Thank you, Prabhu Ji. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you also to everyone for very enthusiastically, wonderfully participating in the discussion, coming out with your doubts and uh, presenting your point of view with a uh, a very uh, backing up with scriptures and everything. So I am also very very grateful that uh, you are participating in with so enthusiasm. so thank you very much i will certainly find time and uh, update and correct your answer sheets slowly and gradually i will start sending them uh, uh, and now we will continue uh, with our uh, quiz there is another quiz on your way already on your way that is nectar of devotion preface introduction and chapter 1 and that quiz i have uh, purposefully made very very difficult difficult means descriptive questions but i will give you a big hint if you look at the slides probably you will find the answers in the slide directly present there uh, we will uh, discuss this quiz on next sunday which is 7th uh, which is what today is 7th 14 on 14th 14th of august uh, we will discuss that quiz if in case any one of you feel uh we are short on time in one week we are not able to do i'm happy to postpone it by one week we can have a regular class but just let me know so far since the feedback is uh, we have this quiz on next sunday so we are going to have this quiz on next sunday unless i receive any specific feedback even if one devotee gives that feedback i will postpone it by one week <clears throat> okay thank you very much should there right, be detailed answer so we can answer in brief also prabhu ji brief point wise koi aapko lamba chauda 
कमेंट्री नहीं लिखना है मोटा मोटा पॉइंट्स बुलेट पॉइंट्स में आप आंसर दीजिए दैट इज सफिशियंट ओके और मेरे को चेक करने में भी इजी होता है राइट प्रभु जी ओके जी ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू हरे कृष्णा वासुदेवन प्रभु थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री उपदेशामृत ऑल ग्लोरीज टू शिला प्रभुपाद ऑल ग्लोरीज टू शिला रूप गोस्वामी थैंक यू वेरी मच हरे कृष्ण थैंक हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण All glories to our Guru Ji. Hari Bol, Jai Shri Prabhupad. All glories to Kartar Ji. Hari. Thank you Ji. Thank you. So, dil se. Thank you. वो तो है ना कोई चीज दिल से होती है reflexly. वो है. जी. आशीर्वाद. धन्यवाद तो जी. धन्यवाद तो जी. हाँ यार ये बहुत ही सुंदर as always. जी. जी सर. और बाप की सत्संगी बहुत ही प्यार भरे हैं. सबको बहुत सारी मेरी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा इसी तरह प्यार बना रहे हम सबका जी तो आपका ओके थैंक यू हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू प्रभु जी थैंक यू अच्छ